Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine Marketplace video. Today we're going to be covering this month's monthly free assets for November 2022. So this month once again we've got access to 5 amazing free assets and those are the clothing and shoe stores, the physical interaction system, universal camera, lost office modular and the animated rain, water drop material and effects. So I'm going to be going over it and covering these 5 different assets today, obviously leaving links in the description down below. I'm basically just showcasing them and what they are because again we've got them for free for this month only. So without further ado let's get right into it starting with the clothing and shoe stores. So this is the floor of a shopping centre with clothing and shoe stores located on it. So this project includes modular building models which would be the walls, the roof and the floor and they all generally have the correct UV map and allow the use of any tile materials. A set of 3D models allows you to build a floor of a shopping centre of various configurations and place various shops in it. So again, because it's modular, you can build any kind of shopping centre you want, and obviously it doesn't just have to be clothing and shoe stores, those are just the ones provided, but you can do anything you want in this. And this also includes a detailed design of the interiors of the shops as well. So if necessary, you can add and create your own store interiors too, but what we've got here is we've also got the exterior and interior of these shops for a shopping mall, so you can actually create something the player can walk inside of and walk around, and it's going to look absolutely amazing for you. So with this pack we have 146 unique meshes, all with automatically generated collision on them. We do also have LODs, and 77 meshes have those LODs, the other ones obviously don't. We have 125 materials and material instances, and 219 textures, ranging from the resolution of 512 by 512 all the way up to 4K. So I think this one looks absolutely amazing. Once again we've got some very very high quality assets here, for you to just be able to make your own shopping centre which you can see here, again, they've obviously used an example of clothing and shoes, but you can do anything you want in here. Next up, we have the physical interaction system. So this is fully intuitive interactions for everything from grabbing and throwing to subtle movements and rotations. So again, it's intuitive to control the different physical objects. The controls are not conventional, but they open up almost limitless possibilities. So imagine you have a sticky finger and you can do whatever you want with that finger, push, pull, lift and lower, anything you want, that's what you can do with this system. So this has two parent blueprints, and 17 child blueprints, and several individual blueprints as well. For example, a safe, which consists of a door safe, a wheel safe, and a handle. Those are all different blueprints. There's 27 meshes within this, and the input is keyboard and mouse, gamepad, and touchscreen. So this is a very, very good interaction system across multiple platforms as well, not just PC. However, this is not network replicated. And the platforms it's been tested on are Windows and Android. So they've not tested it on Mac or iOS or anything, but Windows and Android it's been tested on and it works perfectly on both of those systems. So there's not much to say about this on the Marketplace page itself, it's really the video showcases what it is that you're going to be able to do. Because again, it's an interaction system, so everything I've said covers all of that pretty much. But again, the video on screen now will actually showcase it and help you fully understand what it is you can do with this system. But once again, as I said earlier, there's limitless possibilities. There is so much you can do, so much you can customize, and so much you can change to really just make it perfect of however you want and whatever you're doing within your game. So if you're starting out a new game and you do want an interaction system, I think this is absolutely perfect. Because again, there's so much in it, but it's also very easy to use. Now we have the universal camera. Now this is a flexible camera for your games. So this can be used in a wide variety of games and architectural visualization as well. You can move around, you can rotate, you can edge scroll, you can screen slide, and you can mouse drag, follow an actor, and use the async traveling tasks as well. And you can tweak all of those tools in the camera defaults too. So you have access to all these amazing different features, which are also customizable as well. You can also enable camera lag for smooth movement and rotations too, and you can enable auto positioning for the camera to adapt to the terrain height. So you'll notice that at the beginning of the video on screen now, that as it was going over the bumps, it was also moving the camera up and down as well. And in this, you can also quickly set the boundaries in your level 2, so you can't go too far out and then leave the level and be able to then see all the stuff you've not actually added in. So again, some technical details and features of this are you can quickly enable and disable features during runtime, you can control the movement, offset, rotation and zoom, there's movement and zoom scaling, there's location, offset, rotation, zoom constraints and quickly set the boundaries in your level, terrain height adaptation, edge scrolling, precise mouse drag, rotate around pivot, screen sliding, lag for smooth movement, offset, rotation and zoom, async traveling functions, placeholder cameras to jump to target viewpoints, follow actor, get the ideal location and zoom to get the focus view of an actor depending on your rotation, 
you can save and load so where the camera is you've got a ton of settings to get the behavior that you want and you can override some of the functions to implement your own logic as well so as you can tell from everything that I've just listed there and in the video on screen now this is an absolutely amazing and very detailed camera system for you to be able to use within your games for whatever you want mainly a top-down game obviously but this looks absolutely perfect so this is done in C++ as well not blueprints which explains why it's so efficient and so good but there's only one C++ class in this so once again you can really see what is capable with this system in the video on screen now as well as reading what I've just said obviously all the different features but the video shows it a lot better now we have the lost office modular so this is high quality modern loft office including three different modular scenes so this includes three pre-built interior scenes and modular interior plus kitchen cabinets as well there's 101 unique meshes and they all have automatically generated collision but they don't have LODs there's 121 materials and material instances with 54 textures ranging from 512 by 512 up to 4k so as I realize I'm saying quite a lot today there's not a lot to say about this on the marketplace page itself but you can really see it showcased on screen now within the different screenshots and videos but this one is pretty straightforward again it's a modular asset pack for a loft office so basically an office in the loft or in the ceiling or the roof whatever you call it wherever you are that is what we have and again as i've said many times modular means everybody can have the same stuff but have it look completely different which is why i really love modular asset packs and finally last but not least we have animated rain water drop material and effects so this material set is used for rainflow effect on surfaces like glass windows or solid surfaces and the scene in the video is included as well. So this pack has four types of usage. You've got the translucent material, the material overlay function which needs blueprint editing on an existing material, material overlay volume which is a projection decal system that doesn't require any editing just copy and paste and camera post process effect. So some technical details of this are the general flow speed is set zero to stop all flowing now what they've written on the marketplace page is mainly just updates to what they've already done there's not actually a lot written on here about what the pack is but from looking at the videos and looking at the assets itself it is essentially just a rain material so it's going to be animated so this is for rain on the screen so it's kind of dripping down the player's eyes almost rain on different foliage assets rain on different rocks on static meshes all this stuff you have the animated rain which is going to be dropping down on different materials so I don't believe this is an actual rain at Niagara effect. This is just purely the materials for once the rain has actually landed on something. So it's just the raindrops once they've landed, not the rain falling from the sky. But if you were to do those two things together, this would look absolutely amazing. So you can very easily set up your own Niagara rain system yourself. Then you mix that with this animated rain material. This is going to look absolutely amazing because again, like it said, the material set is used for rainfall effect on surfaces like glass windows or solid surfaces. So like I say, if you're maybe inside a house, you can have the rain dripping down the window. It's going to look absolutely amazing. But I think that'll be it for this video on covering this month's monthly free assets for November 2022. I think my favorite one this time around is probably the physical interaction system, as I think I'm going to get the most use case out of that if I were to be using any of these. I think it's absolutely amazing. There's so much to it, and it looks really, really efficient. So let me know in the comments down below which one your favorite one was for this month. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful of me just covering and showcasing these different assets and what we have this month for free. And again, thanks so much for watching and if you did enjoy, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.